Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the most amazing Terraria with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant, having yourself a great day, as always. Now, in the last episode, we made our way into the dungeon, and uh, between this and uh, the last one, I've gone and gone through the dungeon. So if you have a look here, uh, where's the dungeon? Where are you hiding out? There we go, yeah. I made my way all the way through the dungeon, collecting as much stuff as I could. I found no another house and things, and, you know, a little bits here and there. And I got all the bits that I wanted, which is kind of cool. Now, <clears throat> I was going to kind of show the uh, going through the dungeon, but I decided not to because it's, uh, it, you kind of already saw what the dungeon was. <laughs> like, in the last episode, you saw a bit of the dungeon. That's all there is to it. It's just that that goes on forever. It's pretty boring, really. So, uh, I decided against that, but I will show you the bits that I claimed from the dungeon. So, I got myself my uh, spiked cobalt shield, which grants immunity to knockback. I got myself... A few bits over here, some weapons. I got a demonic blue moon and a magic missile. And I also got, which is going to be pretty cool, a intimidating handgun, which we can use later on to make a uh, different type of gun once I get myself some hellstone, which is going to be pretty cool, and a uh, aqua scepter. So those are the bits that I got there. We already had the Muramasa, or the uh, Muramasa? Yeah, we already had the Muramasa, but it didn't really do as much as uh, my Star Fury, so I'm probably going to stick with that. Now, today, what I'm planning on doing is making our way over to the Mushroom, the Underground Mushroom area, because I'd like to check that out. I haven't done that yet, and if we have a look over here, uh, I found it, but I didn't actually do anything in there. I kind of got to here, and I was like, nope, nope, I'm going to hold out. So we're going to do that, and then I would like to make my way to the jungle to try and get myself the last piece that I need to make my IV Whip, and if I have enough time, I would like to get some obsidian because there's a few things that I want to upgrade with obsidian before we go down into hell, which is very soon going to be happening. So <laughs> I'm uh, hope you're looking forward to that. Hell is a good laugh. There are uh, a fair few bad guys down there that are going to take a little while to uh, beat on. But yeah, you know, we're pretty powerful at the minute as it is anyway. So I think it shouldn't be much of a problem. <laughs> Nice. Uh, have I got anything else that I've done? I don't think I've got anything else, no. I upgraded my... I can't remember if I told you if I upgraded my boots or not, but I upgraded my boots again with uh, with uh, with those. So I got Frost Spark boots. I can't remember if I did those in the last episode. As well as my uh, Spiked Horseshoe, which negates all full damage. I'm kind of hoping I can find a, a balloon soon so I can upgrade that again. That's kind of the thing, but hey, you know what? It's all, uh, it's all, it's all roll of the dice, isn't it, with Terraria? <laughs> it depends if it wants to be nice to me today. All right, I'm going to make my way to the bus room, mushroom area, and I will, uh, I'll meet you there. All right, here we go. We're at the uh, underground mushroom biome. Very nice. So you see the background changing, the music changing, thing. Oh, very good. Here we go. Let's let some uh, torches about. Doesn't this place look so cool? <laughs> I love it. I think it just looks amazing. The underground mushroom biome. I'm definitely going to make one of these above land. I think I already have some spores from when I last came here, so it shouldn't be too hard. But I wanted to see if there was any chests or uh, anything, you know, lying around that we could use. Let's have a look. And we got these glowing mushrooms as well that we can use, which is pretty cool. I found a little bit of demonite on my way here as well, which is nice. So I grab that because obviously we can sell that for a little bit of dosh, can't we? Let's have a gander around. It doesn't even look that big, does it? <laughs> oh, I was kind of hoping this to be a decent size, but it doesn't look that great. I guess we can have a look at she over here. Let's have a look at Gander over this way. No, there's barely anything here, is there? Wow. Just wow. Well, let's see if we can get some more seeds before we disapparate. Hello, you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. There we go. Got some presents. Gonna grab all these bits. Have I got any? No. I think I, I, I'm pretty definite I have some back at the base, so I'm not that worried. Come on, slimes. Time to die. There we go. <laughs> Good stuff. And let's just double check around here. Don't think there's much around here. No, we've changed back to the regular. Yeah, the regular music. Alright, so the, the mushroom biome wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be, but hey, at least we came and uh, checked it out, right? There's one thing on my tick list that I needed to uh, I needed to do. So uh, we can take some of that back with us, and uh, I think overall, 
it's going to be cool because I can lay some of this and make a little mushroom biome above ground. And then hopefully when we go into hard mode, we'll be able to get the uh, truffle NPC. And he's really helpful when you first start hard mode because he has a pretty cool weapon that we can uh, be getting our little mitts on. So that's the plan with that, I think. So next stop on my journey today is going to be the jungle biome. I will meet you there. All right, welcome to the jungle, as is. I'm going to grab some wood before we go down deep underground in case I run out of torches. Because that would uh, that would suck, wouldn't it? Oh, hey there. Actually, you can give me what I'm looking for. Have you got a, uh, have you got a vine? Near. Yeah. <laughs> so I want a vine. That's pretty much all I want, to be honest. One more vine, and I can make that. So we should hopefully be able to get that fairly fast and uh, not have too much of a hard time. Hopefully, he says. <laughs> the only problem is when I came in before, I had my miner's hat, so it was nice and, uh, you know, it was nice and bright. <laughs> so I don't think any of this is lit up. So I'm going to try and light up as much as I can as we make our way through the jungle. Now, I'm sure some of you already know, but the jungle is kind of uh, one of the harder of the places when you start off. Uh, but we've, uh, I think we've gone past the stage of the jungle being hard, which is, you know, pretty nice. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Let's see if we can get some torches up around it. There we go. Okay. There we go. All of the torches. There is the uh, jungle vines as well you got to be careful of, because, like, they actually kind of, like, weirdly do a surprising amount of damage, like, over time. <laughs> like, a lot more than you think they would do. There we go. Come on. Slam is. Slam is. Time to meet the power of my laser. Leather. And there we go. Cool, cool. And if we can find anything else down here, it'd be kind of great. But I think I've gone through most of this place. Uh, if I could find some heart crystals, like some heart casters, that would be great. That's, uh, oh, 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 you're the, uh, oh, no, not those things. They're actually really dangerous. <laughs> those guys, they do a lot of deeps. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Give me what I'm looking for. I just want one vine, and you're gonna give it to me. You didn't give it to me. God oh, damn, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. Let's keep going then. Watch out for those guys, because those are the ones that do all the deeps. I like have got a fair bit of damage now. I think I can just eat on them a little bit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and these damn piranhas. Cool, cool. All right. Let's keep uh, lighting this place up. And uh, hopefully we're going to find some more of those man -ears. Uh Which way have I gone? Oh, it does not help <laughs> that I took a route that was very vastly under the water, wasn't it? Uh, let's have a look over here before we go deep under the uh, into the water. Because <laughs> uh, that is a pain. When you haven't got any torches or there's no light, going into water is a real pain. So I'm hoping I can find some of those guys around here. Oh my god, I just killed something. I got an ancient cobalt hel helmet. I just killed something by mistake. <laughs> nice. What did we kill? I think we killed a man eater, didn't we? What do I got? Ancient cobalt helmet. Increases max mana by 20. Five defense. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? The only problem is my space gun would then cost mana. So, uh, yeah. I wonder how much mana my space gun costs. Let's have a look. It costs a fair bit, doesn't it? I think I'm going to go with my meteorite. Although that is pretty cool, isn't it? I do like that. All right. Let's uh, keep looking. See what we can find. Hopefully, we're going to find ourselves one of those. That's uh, my mission for today. To get my whip. And get ourselves out of the jungle. And hopefully, just hopefully, get ourselves a more heart, few more heart crystals as well. Yeah. That would be great. If we have enough time, I'm thinking of making my way down to... Um, some lava, so that we can get some of that as well. I think that's going to be a good thing. Oh, man, there's fishes all around here. Nope. Let's get a torch up around it. Come on, torch. Hey, there we go. <laughs> you can see I made this hard for myself, because when I have my miner's hat, I gotta say, everything was, uh, I didn't need to light everything up. And now that I need to light everything up, man, that's a pain. What did you drop? What did you drop? A bezel? Where's a bezel? Equipable material, immunity to poison. Ah! Well, that's kind of cool. It's like immune to poison. That's not bad. I, a lot of the stuff here actually does poison damage. I wonder if it's like I could wear it at the minute. Uh, I kind of like having my horseshoe. And that's really handy. 
Uh, Rash Cloud, that's two melee speed. I, you know, yeah, I, I think I'm alright at the minute. If I keep taking more damage, then uh, maybe it'll be worth switching out to that. But uh, for now, we're just fine. Although, it is a material, so I guess we could craft it with something else. To make something even more powerful. Yes. Oh, hello there. Yes, yes. You're the person that I would like to kill, thank you. Come on, give me a find. I know you want to. Yes! We got it! Oh, we got Vine! Way! Alright, so now I can make my Ivy Whip. Oh, yeah! Let's make our way back home. And grab ourselves one of these. Yes. Yes. Uh, what is that? A poison. Oh, poison dart. Oh. Alright, cool. Bam. One Ivy Whip. Boom. Alright. Now we have the power of our Ivy Whip. Venus. Venus indeed. Oh yes. Oh yes. I think it actually is it still doing that one? I think it might still be doing my topaz one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want you to do Ivy Whip. Ivy Whip. Let's How much is this actually worth? 47. I guess we can There we go. Alright, good stuff. So now Yeah. Noise. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? Can shoot all the vines around like our boss. I like it. And it's got a really long reach to it. Yeah, good stuff. Do this, go long like a monster. Look. <laughs> oh man, I'm having way too much fun. Alright, so there's all that stuff. That's good. So I've managed to get my whip. Now the last thing that I wanted to do today, and I think we're going to have enough time to do it, is going to get ourselves some obsidian so I can upgrade some of my bits. So let's just start quick stack a bunch of this stuff away and blocks can go in there and I guess our helmet can go in here. I also got a shadow key. I forgot to show that. Yeah, I got a shadow key. How cool is that? And boss items. Stingers. Uh, uh, I got some stingers. I have got stingers in there. Cool. And we'll hold on to the wood because I'm going to need that on I for uh, stuff. Par demon night away. And uh, let's quickly see what we can make with this bezoar. Because uh, I'm intrigued to know what I can craft with this, whether it's any good. So look. Mm -hmm. I can make a medicated bandage. Immunity to poison and bleeding. Oh, I guess that's alright, isn't it? I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to use that. <laughs> I like it, but I don't think I'm going to use it. But I will put it in my arm as an accessories bag. There we go. It can go in there. Good stuff. Cool beans. All right, so what's the best place to find lava? Let's have a looky see. It's actually probably the dungeon, weirdly enough, because there's buttloads of lava all over the place around here. Uh, I don't know if I found any lava around here. No, it might have to be the dungeon. And when I came into the dungeon, because I didn't have my miner's helmet, I have already lit this place up, which is kind of handy. So it might be worth making our way here. Yeah. I got a bucket, which is good. So we should be able to do the old water trick to uh, make buttloads of obsidian. I'm hoping that's going to work. Let's uh, quickly top up while we're here. Yeah, good stuff. All right, I'm going to make my way down into the, uh, into the dungeon. I guess we're going to be going there either way, aren't we? <laughs> and I'll see you in a moment. Hello and welcome back to the dungeon. And I just found, look at this, I just found myself a hidden little room. So I thought we could quickly check this out. There's a load of statues in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get like a million guys below me as well. Having a right little day out. Now, further down from us should be the lavas, which I'm after, which is grit. And uh, if we can find any more chests around here, it would be kind of cool. Although, I've already found everything kind of rare in the dungeon anyway. So, there's not a great deal of bits to really find. But, we can grab all this. This gives me a, another cloud in a bottle. Some gold. Mm, I guess I'll take all of it. There you go. And we'll grab you. Alright, let's keep making our way down, which is over this way. And I did grab water, didn't I? I did, good stuff. Alright. I get worried, Dad's thinking I didn't bring my water with me. It's like, no! <laughs> oh, we got water. But uh, you're going to see what I mean about the dungeon. It's pretty much the same thing over and over again. It's why I didn't really want to spend a whole episode on it, because there isn't really 
anything to show. <laughs> you kind of just run around this dark, dreary area until you find what you're looking for. All right, so actually that's, uh, ha -ha, that could be a brilliant place right there. All right, I want to go down this way. I might even not have to use my bucket for this. I need, I think, about 20 bits of obsidian to make what I would like to make. So let's go this way. And uh, remember to always kill the uh, random skulls <laughs> that are coming after you. Oh, man. I saw that pressure plate as I was dropping. I was like, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, let's get you. And how close are we? It's probably actually going to be faster to make our way out of the dungeon over here. Yeah. If we go this way, I should make my way into the regular terrain. And then I can dig down to that lava because digging through this stuff takes ages. So it's probably going to be easy just to do it this way. And eventually we'll make our way out. Oh, hello. 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 Yes. <laughs> they're persistent little scallywags, aren't they? They should know their place. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's get another torch up. Torch, torch. Oh, I'm out of, tor I'm out of torches, I just realised. Let's make some torches. There we go. Okay, alright, so... It looks like it's over this way. I haven't actually explored this place. There could be stuff around. Oh. Uh, let's just have a little look up here. I'm always on the lookout for heart hearts near. Although there is some chests. Thank you very much. All right, so we want to make our way down over there. So let's dig this way. And we'll keep a little bit of water with us just in case we uh, have a fail in Tuzi Lavas, which I very much not like to happen. But it looks like there's already water there. That's why I'm going this way, because I can just drop the water straight into the lava, and then I don't even need to use my bucket. Yeah, there it is, look. Noise! There's even a snail on it! <laughs> a rogue snail! I wonder how many bits of obsidian we can get from this. Hopefully, a uh, fairly decent amount. Okay, alright, let's get some torches around the place. There we go. And up here. Cool, cool. Alright. And uh, for you guys, I might even use a glow stick because I'm nice like that. There we go. You can. Uh, oh, glow stick. Yeah, cool, cool. All right, so let's grab some of this obsidian. I don't think we're going to be able to get a great deal of it, but we'll be able to get some nonetheless. Oh, <laughs> got to remember about that air, though. <laughs> don't want to go doing that again. Is that 12, 13, 14... 16. Is that obsidian? Stone. I think that is. Yeah, good stuff. Alright, how many have we got? We have 28 obsidian. I think that's enough. I hope. Let's go and check. So I want to make an upgrade for my shield, basically. That's uh, what I'm looking to do. So we can make... A, yes, one obsidian skull. Fenath. So the obsidian skull grants immunity to fire blocks. And as we're going to be going to hell next and getting hellstone, I thought it would be kind of handy so that we don't burn like we did when we're near meteorite by uh, having one of these. But I can also attach this using the tinkerer's table to my shield. And this should allow me to make an upgraded shield. Yes, an obsidian shield. Fenath. Cool. So we've got an obsidian shield, grants immunity to knockback, grants immunity to fire blocks. Grant immunity to everything. Let's see if we can reforge it though, because it doesn't really have a whole lot of anything on it. It's going to cost three gold. 11 gold. I got some upstairs as well, so you know what? We'll give it a go. A guarding obsidian shield, two defense. Hmm. 
Yeah, actually, I'll take that. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I'm all good with defense. Defense is kind of the main thing that I'm after right here. Three defense, four defense. The shackle is so good, that warden shackle. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much our lot, I think, at the minute. And uh, the next thing I'm looking to upgrade is probably going to be the horseshoe, because I'd like to upgrade this to one of these. You can actually also put the uh, obsidian skull onto the horseshoe to get the obsidian horseshoe, but I would like to find a... Um, get a cloud and a bottle and a balloon and do it that way, and then get a uh, one of the horseshoe balloons. I think that's going to be kind of handy, you know, because then we can float around a little bit. It's going to be uh, better until we get some wings. Uh, we've got our ivy whip. I've got this. You know what? I think, guys and girls, I think we could almost be ready to go down to hell. Yes, the underworld and fight the flying demons and uh, I don't know how longer but we might even be taking on the wall of flesh sometime soon and going into hard mode. How fun does that sound? Oh yes. I've like, got a little bit of preparation to do before we go into hard mode because uh, obviously when you go into hard mode there is an extreme spread of the old corruptions and uh, we also have a new type of biome spawning as well. So I, uh, I have a couple of choices, really. I can either dig around my base and uh, have a layer of nothing, or we can put a layer of something in that can't be corrupted, so there's a couple of things that can't be corrupted. Or I can move my base up into the air. That's another one we can do. Mm. There's a couple of things we can do. I kind of like where it is at the minute, and I really need to expand my base. I've been really lazy lately. I've been too much doing way too much exploring. I need to make more houses for all the NPCs, and I need to... Who are you? Who's Meredith? <laughs> Who's Meredith? <laughs> Why is there a person with a wrench? What are you selling? Come here. Come here. Do you live in this place? Shop. Uh... Oh, it's you. Oh, okay. All right. I was wondering who you was then. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I need, I need to fix this place up because uh, it's getting so cluttered. Like, look at this place. All my banners. I can't not put banners around because that's just, uh, you know, it's blasphemy. So I've got banners here and there and everywhere and flamey things and all the banners down here and the and the, and the uh, piano that I found. i got a lot of stuff that needs sorting out. So that's going to be my next task. And uh, I need to do that before I go into hard mode because I need to plan out how big I want the base to be and to get all the NPCs in because we haven't barely got any of the NPCs yet. There's a lot more NPCs to be getting our, getting our little paws on. So I think I should expand this and then decide, do I take out the whole ground underneath it and kind of have like a, a floating kind of village? Or do I just dig around it with something that can't be corrupted and do it like free wide and take out the back? Uh, I think I might go with something like that because I put a lot of work into this base. I wouldn't want to uh, start a new one up. At least I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so much work, so little time. Cool beans. Alright guys, well that's going to be that for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. We went to three different biomes today. Unfortunately, the uh, mushroom biome was not that much fun. But hey, it's still a place that we visited to. It means we can get the truffle guy. And uh, went to the jungle, got my ivy whip. So we can now use that, which is brilliant because I love the ivy whip. And we... Uh, got some obsidian to upgrade our shield so that we don't take any flame damage from being near any of those horrible fiery blocks that we're going to be hunting in the next episode yeah i'm probably going to make a elevator between this and the next episode as well so when we come back we should have a uh, an easy way down to the underworld which is going to be awesome sweet all right guys well i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have don't forget to drop a like and if you're new to the channel i urge you to subscribe for more awesome content have yourself a great day have a good as always and goodbye